All right, so this week here at TRS marks the launch of the fourth version of the Osram performance bulbs in the TRS catalog. They are the new cool blue boost bulbs. And Osram says these things are good up to 7,000 K, which is pretty nuts because that's quite blue, especially for a manufacturer such as Osram. You don't typically see that by OEM manufacturers. We've gotten a lot of questions on them, the plus side, the downside, how they're compared to the CBH, the CBI, and even the standard bulbs. So we figured that we would do a little comparison. We'll go pick these bulbs right up off the shelf. We'll see it just as you see it, and we'll make our uh, own conclusions together on how the Osram series compares to one another. These bulbs are available in all of the industry standard sizes, D1S, D2S, D3S, and D4. For purposes of this comparison, we are only gonna be looking at the D2S. However, all of the conclusions that we find should be carried amongst the other sizes. Uh, so everything else should be about equal, regardless of what size that you need. So let's go check it out. We're gonna get these bulbs off the shelf. We'll set up a little comparison. We'll talk about the differences that we see. We'll talk about the differences that Osram specs, and we'll just go through it. So just looking at these bulbs here on the table, Osram 4200K, this is what Osram specs as the OEM equipment in many luxury cars they have for many different, uh, for many years and um, it's a very, very common bulb, 4200K, so it is a warm white light and a great reliable bulb. Again, the first one that they came out with in their performance series, the CBI, the Cool Blue Intense, that bulb is a 5500K bulb, so it is a nice neutral white light with no off-white or warm color like the standard, but no real bluish tone to it either, like you would start to see in something that's a 6,000K or higher, like you get in the CBB or the, I'm sorry, the CBH or the CBV. So a nice neutral white light. And at one time, and still to this day, it was the king in terms of both luminosity um, and performance. So still a great industry standard bulb today and very affordably priced. The CB, H, which we have here, the Cool Blue Hyper, is a newer bulb, yet still, and it is rated by Osram at 6,000K. So it's a little bit cooler than the CBI. Still mostly a white, white, a white light, but with a little bit more bluish tone to it as well. We have not compared these two side by side in terms of the actual luminosity and the performance, the actual real performance on the road. Um, we have not compared these two to one another um, just yet, but we will today. And as you know, the CBB is the newest option. Osram claims up to 7,000 whopping K. Um, we have yet to even light these bulbs up. So I'm actually a little bit curious myself to see the performance of these bulbs, both in terms of the actual color and how they look and the actual performance and how much luminosity they put out. So we'll go ahead and unwrap all these bulbs. We're gonna light them up with the exact same ballast and the same exact projector as a control and we'll check out the beam pattern, we'll check out the color, and we'll pitch them against one another. And again, just let you draw your own conclusions. So let's check it out. Okay, cool. So we just went through and we tested each of these bulbs to keep things consistent. Like I said, we used the same ballast, the exact same Morimoto Mini D2S 4.0 projector, and we gave each bulb 30 seconds on the dot of warm-up time just to make sure that their intensity was at its peak. 
What we have found is a little bit interesting. Um, and there's two conclusions that I think that we are gonna draw from this. And again, we'll let you make your own conclusions because, you know, it's up to you. But what we have found is that as we move up the range, standard CBI, CBH, and then the new CBB, we only saw a little bit of a difference in terms of the actual whiteness, the white color that the bulbs produced, even though Osram themselves is rating them at different Kelvin ratings. We did see a pretty significant difference between the standard 4200K and the next jump to the CBI, but after the CBI, we really did not see much extra blue color come out of the CBH, the Cool Blue Hyper, or the CBB, the Cool Blue Boost. What we did, however, see was quite interesting. Um, in that as we move up the range, each bulb became progressively brighter on our Lux meter. The CB, uh, I'm sorry, the standard 66240, about 315 Lux was the average that we got, okay? The Cool Blue Intense, the popular Cool Blue Intense, was about 340. So it is whiter and it is brighter, but it was only marginally brighter than the standard bulb. Cool Blue Hyper. Um, again, not really that much whiter or that much bluer even, but brighter than the CBI. CBI, again, about 340. This one was about 410? 415. 415, okay, 415 was the number that we got there. And then we went to the Cool Blue Boost, 460, 460 lux. So really what we found here was that as we move up the range, we're only really getting brighter, but not whiter. And therefore it seems that, I'm not really sure. I don't really know if Osram is just trying to differentiate these, bu differentiate these bulbs by Kelvin rating in order to mask the actual difference in intensity that they're actually building into these bulbs or what. But again, this is really just our finding. So again, moving up the scale, standard CBI, CBH, CBB, you're actually getting more light output with the same exact setup. But as you move from the standard to the CBI and from the CBI forward, you're getting that jump to whiteness, but really no progression of that whiteness or that color from there. So there you have it. That's what we see. We're excited to get these bulbs in the range. It looks like it's a new top performer in the category. And uh, shit, we'll see how it goes, man. But definitely a pretty cool new offering from Osram. And hopefully some of this uh, information is helpful to you guys who are working on making a decision and uh, you know who are shopping for a new set of bulbs and are willing to spend a little bit of extra money to get the best stuff out there. So there you have it. All right, so we're just cleaning up uh, on putting away all of the bulbs from our Osram comparison that we just finished. And, you know, just kind of talking about the results that we saw and how even we were a little bit surprised by them, we actually came up with the thought that maybe Osram is simply playing into the fact that consumers, when they're buying bulbs, you know, especially ones who aren't as educated as maybe we are and all the guys on Headlight Junkies are, that they think that you know the Kelvin rating is actually more so a measure of the brightness of the bulb rather than the actual color of it. So maybe they were kind of playing into that and saying, ah, fuck it, let's just go along with it and basically say, okay, Kelvin rating, 5K, 6K, 7K, that's actually gonna be the measure of what we're actually looking at as the brightness of the bulb or the actual luminosity of it um, because that's really the correlation that we saw. So I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really have any proof to this one way or the other, but. I think we're on to you, Osram. I don't know, man. We're sneaky.